Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to circumnavigate a password on a macro that you might encounter if you are doing malicious document analysis. So this is in conjunction with a blog post that I did a couple of days ago. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we have the same file, this HMRC file that I grabbed from malware.com and the hash and everything is on the blog post so you can go and grab it yourself if you would like to play along. So I am in my lab environment. I have disabled network connection because we do know if it can go wrong, it will go wrong. So I've opened, I've opened it up in Word and very classic method that the bad guys use to try and trick you into opening up and enabling macros saying, well, if you want to see the content, you have to enable macros. We all know that that is typically a lie. So let's see if we can just go into the macros and see what we can do. So we have two here, auto open and Hallstatt. Um, I will try it. auto open and it says, well, sorry, you need a password. So this is obviously very annoying if you want to actually extract and view the macros. So what can one do? Well, there are two different ways of doing it. Uh, there is one way which costs some money. So depending on you know who you work for or what the budget is, you can always buy a software that will do it for you. Or you can do it um, the free way, but obviously takes a little bit more time. So it also depends on how, mon how many of these documents are you going to be analyzing as well as budget. But let's show you the pay for way first. So there's a tool called Reset VBA Password. And there's a picture of a horse. And as you can see, I'm in part of a 30 day trial to evaluate this, but I, I will not be buying it, but that doesn't matter. So I just go to open and I wanna add working files to my working directory. And I'm actually gonna use, I'll use the copy, sure. Let's try and hopefully I'll remember that. So it says, okay, I've added files. Um, I'm including subdirectories, but that's not a, an issue with result. One file was added, smiley face, excellent. Okay, but the first thing that you can notice here is that the document has a, is protected with a password. And if you are confused, you can look down here and it tells you what all the icons mean. So this doesn't have worksheet protection like Excel does. It just means the macro is has a password on it. But it's as simple as right click and click remove password and now it has been removed successfully. So if everything is copacetic, now I should just be able to open this up. And again, don't enable macros. <laughs> if I go to copy, view macros, now I should be able to now open up in the, um, sorry, in the uh, VB editor and I can look at all of the macros. And so that was very easy, as you can obviously see, very quick. But let's just say you just you have one document and all you want to do is just do this one document. You don't want to, you know, buy this software. It's not actually that expensive, but you say you don't want to buy the software. You just want to do it for, for one thing. So you can actually do this via a hex editor. So I'm going to use HXD. You can use any text editor, a uh, hex editor, sorry, not text editor. And I'm just going to drag this in. And just like anything, right, um, a Word document is in structures and it's in different parts. So what we are going to is like, is I believe the metadata, but we are looking for the phrase DPB. And here it is. So you can see, you know, this document, module one, base class form one, so there's a form, name is a project, so this is information about the VBA itself. But this DPB is what is the password that is used to protect the macro. Now I don't know how hard this is to crack, and it's not MD, it's not uh, base 64 or anything like that, so I'm not 100% sure, but you don't have to worry about any of that. It's as simple as just changing the last character to something like an X and click save. And one of the nice things about HXD is that it does create a backup of the document. So it'll change the original document, this one, 
but it also creates a backup before it makes the change. This way then, if something goes wrong, you can actually just change this to remove the dot back and then you actually have your original again. So that's very nice. Hopefully we won't need to do that for this video. So I open it up. Now you might get some errors when you're trying to view the macros, but that's okay. This is, you can see here, it contains an invalid key. So if it was DP, DPB, it would read it and everything would be fine. But obviously we've changed that. But interestingly enough, it still allows you to um, make changes, which I find very interesting. So let me get into the Visual Basic Editor here. And again, we go into this document here. So this is what we want. You go to Project Properties. So for the projects within this Word document, and you can see there is a protection tab and the lock project for viewing box is ticked. So now it's as simple as unticking. And click OK, click Save. And now I should just be able to open up the macros. So as you can see, this is quite, um, quite a simple way of getting around um, macro password protection. That this is something that malicious actors will do to try and stop analysts from analyzing their code. Now there's nothing to say you couldn't just run this in a you know in a VM or in a sandbox environment to get the the actual code, but this is just another way of in case it gets really confusing or you're just trying to learn, uh, this is this is one easy way of doing it. So in our next video I'm slash blog post, I will be then actually looking at that code and using breakpoints to then try and see if I can see any badness happening in the macro, like a call out or anything like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, check out the blog for uh, another walkthrough, if you will, and also for the MD5 hash so you can download the file yourself and have a play around. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll talk to you later. Bye bye.